Alright guys, my friend and kid here coming to you again. How's everybody doing out there? Apologize for really not being involved on YouTube for pretty much a, almost a week. It was very, very busy. Um, but uh, I'm here to deliver, as always, my thoughts on this Saturday's cartoon lineup that I, I think we all watch. So first off, we're kicking off with Thundercats. And... Uh, this was um, <clears throat> episode 21 entitled Birth of the Blades. All right, so I'm giving my thoughts on this episode. Once again, this episode was written by Will Ferrell, the same, the actor who voices Lionel again. Um, so basically, the concept is after the gang had basically drove, driven Rataro and away from Mount Plundar, Lionel, Tigra, Pumira, Chitara. And Panth and um, and Panthro end up having to fight the Lizard Army and Mumra pretty much because he found out the Sword of Plundar is free and he's going after it pretty much. Uh, first of all, it's always a pleasure to see Mumra um, always. And we this episode kind of gave us like it was it, it was like a past and present kind of feel to it. You know, it was it would go from the the past of seeing Lionel's ancestor to the presence. The bottom line is, I, st I still enjoyed this episode. It really focused more on, it was really on Pumira and Lionel in this, because they pretty much were involved in this episode the most, um, which I was cool with, you know. Um, the Both of them go back inside Mount Plundar to basically by Panther and the rest of some time to get out of there and and also get try to get the sword of plundar away from uh Mumra. However, you know, Mumra being the devious that he is is able to conjure up a spell is basically him for to locate the sword of plundar wherever it goes. And that's pretty much how they would find him. He would use his generals to like you know, basically corner them into a situation that needed to be uh, and we kept going back and forth from the, the, the past, Lionel's ancestor and him. Uh, the one thing I enjoyed about this, uh, we, we, we saw a lot of bit of Pumara may be kind of on Lionel's side, but she's still giving him a hard time of being the fact that, you know, still kind of contemplating, like, you know, if you would have been here for us, you know, we we wouldn't be in this situation, you know. And Lionel's trying to do the best he can, you know. But Pumira's still kind of coming off as that hissy she cat. But I don't mind it. I like this this Pumira. She's pretty badass, so I, I don't mind that. Um, and that was interesting. I really enjoyed that. The fact that they kept going back and forth was cool to me, even though we seen the kind of com the the complex of being the birth of both swords, the Sword of Omens and the Sword of Plundar, it was fine. I This version of the Sword of Plundar, I like the original uh, version better, um, for all those who want to know. I love the original version better because it was a double-bladed sword. Um, the Sword of Plundar before was, this one is just a single sword, the original was a double-bladed sword, which gave it more, more of a fierce look to me. Don't get me wrong, that the the like the shield of the the sword of plundar looks cool and all it looks de devious and and just like oh my god you wouldn't want to be dealing with that but i enjoy the the 80s version of it better it looks more badass to me um i love the comp the complaint between uh mumra and panther i mean and lino it's always great to see that you know Mumra is using Lionel's compassion to get what he wants. You know, they had captured Pumira and at the end of the episode and, you know, during a fierce, pretty much a fierce battle, you know, which was cool. We saw that Lionel had to make a choice. He had to make a choice between saving one of his fellow cats or getting the Sword of Plundar. And Mumra wasn't going to make it easy. 
unfortunately, we saw Lionel make the right choice, and he saved Pumaira. And Mumra got the Sword of Plundar. Was I upset about that? No, because I had I had all the all the uh, all the knowledge that yep, yeah, Mumra is gonna get it no matter what. They wouldn't change that too much. Now it becomes a race for getting the rest of the gems. So this battle just got more realer. The shit just got real now. And I love that scene between the last final scene between Lionel and Pumaira where he was saying, I let the sword get away because of my blind compassion, basically. I know that I don't think that's what he said, but it pretty much that's how it rounded up. And Pumara basically says, no, you know, you were right. And she, you know, it kind of gave you that feeling like, oh, sucky, sucky. Now, you know, something's about to, something's about to jump off on this. And she says, you're a king that I'll follow, follow to the grave. You know, I'll follow wherever you go. And Lionel just says, call me Lionel. And she says, Lionel. So it was good. This, this was a good episode, you know, um. Episode 20, uh, one, one, Birth of the Blades, I thought was great. You know, another solid episode, in my opinion. Nothing spectacular, but a solid, st great episode. Uh, with four more episodes for the first season to end. No, make that five, excuse me. Uh, the next episode pretty much goes back to what Wiley Cat Wiley and Snarf are up to. Uh, so I guess you can kind of consider this like a filler episode, but... Other than that, you know, Birth of the Blades was cool. I enjoyed it. You guys tell me what you thought about this episode. And as always, this is Malvern and Kid saying to you guys, as always, for all those who listen to my recaps and my thoughts, on to the next.